Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to give your photos a nice, warm, uh, retro, vintage look to them um, in Photoshop uh, in a couple of steps. So we'll go ahead and get started really quick. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, double click your background layer. Um, what it's gonna do is gonna unlock it so we can make some adjustments to it. And um, when you double click it, this new layer panel is gonna go ahead and come up. And what I like to do is I like to name it right. Uh, just stay organized and um, get get a nice workflow with that. Um, so it renamed it to Vintage, and now it's unlocked, right? So uh, what we want to do is we want to copy this so that we have an original to look back on. So what you're gonna do is you press Control J. It's gonna make a copy right above it, and you're gonna double click Vintage Copy, and uh, you're gonna name it Original, and we're gonna go ahead and lock it. Uh, that way we don't have to, anything we edit it doesn't affect this this uh, top original layer so we can turn it off and turn it on and look back at what we the adjustments we made so we're going to turn it off so we don't see it we're going to go back to this vintage layer um, first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and wash up these blacks right to a, a nice blue hue uh, back then you know the photos didn't really capture the blacks so darkly as they do nowadays so um, what you want to do is you want to go to your adjustment panel you want to go to levels um, like I said we want to bring these blacks to more of a blue hue to it so you can go, go to your drop down here and click blue um, on your output slider you're gonna go ahead and drag this up and you notice um, your blues start coming in now the thing with this is you know it, it depends on each photo of course but um, you don't want it to over over wash it with blue if you notice this skin tone got really blue um, these poles got really blue you don't want to go too far into it you want to adjust to you just want to adjust the blacks in this picture so what I recommend is starting off around the hundred you know hundred ish area and you can go up or down you just don't want to affect these nice uh, browns or highlights in it so I'm gonna go around a hundred because I have an OCD and I like to have even numbers for some reason and um we're gonna we're gonna go with that hundreds you know these blacks aren't aren't as uh black anymore and you brought the nice blue uh filter to it so we're gonna go ahead and add a new adjustment layer and we gotta bring these highlights back up so we're gonna go ahead and go to solid color and what it's gonna do is gonna fill up this whole uh canvas with the, whatever color you pick so what i recommend is go into like this brown color you want to do a nice cream uh, let's go with that. Yeah, nice cream. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, click OK, and it filled this whole thing with a nice cream ivory color. Um, and we want to change this layer mode to multiply. And if you notice, this is with it off. We had this blue uh, filter to it, and we when we put the color fill in, it brought these highlights back in, right? Um, it took some of the blues out of the what we affected on their highlights and um, it looks good it looks nice it act, this actually looks really good off the bat I'll come if you click our original you can see the original and what we got now so this is looking really good but we want to go ahead and keep going um, next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and we want to make this a nice warm feeling this is already pretty warm compared to what it was but we want to go ahead and make it a little bit warmer so we're gonna go to curves we're gonna make a curves adjustment and we just want to affect the reds so we're gonna go ahead and bring the reds up a little bit if you notice see how it's getting more red and then less red obviously um, you want to bring it up just a little bit and then you want to go to blue because the opposite if you know your colors the opposite of blue is yellow so you want to bring that yellow in um, just a tad bit so now you have this nice really warm um, color color in it um, but before we get out of this you we adjusted the reds and we adjusted the yellow out of the blue category um, you want to go to your RGB and you want to wash out these blacks so like I said you know back then the, the, the cameras back then didn't really uh, capture blacks as dark as it is in this picture or the whites for that for that matter so you want to go ahead and grab this slider and we're gonna bring the output up to about I want to say anywhere between 35 and 40 again it depends on what picture you're using but I'm gonna go with like a 35 right so we washed out these blacks and it looks really good there but um, you still want to get some contrast into it so we're gonna make a nice S curve 
we start at this bottom point and then we're going to add another point right here so you have this nice s curve to it but you want to make sure this ending uh point is is brought up to wash out that black so if you notice we brought that red and yellow in right so it warmed it up and we still have that nice contrast but we also washed up these blacks it's not you know it's kind of washed out um what you know what the old school cameras used to capture so this is very good right here um if you look back our original and we got that washed out if you notice right here in the blacks the deep blacks you you see that washed out um so you could stop here this is pretty good where it's at but uh, i'm gonna take one last step further and i'm gonna go ahead and go to your adjustments and go to gradient um first thing i want to do is i want to set it to radio because we want to add this nice effect to it and i'm going to pick if you look here i'm going to go ahead and pick a nice um dark red i guess hot pink not really hot pink but more of red a red tone into that not really red but you know kind of a pinkish red i guess um that looks pretty good we'll go with that color and um we want to make it fade to uh emptiness so um you want to go ahead on this white layer we're going to click this top black swatch you'll see the opacity here you want to just bring that all the way down and you notice it took away that that white swatch that we had on this one uh, so click ok and let's move this aside um, so we want to get more more closer to the edges than what this is so we're going to bring the scale up um, let's go about mm, it's too far. let's go about 200 yeah it gets around that outer edge um, give it a nice soft uh, brush to it soft fade uh, we'll click OK um, and we'll set this to color burn you know, you'll see it, it automatically gives it a nice vintage burnt out uh, feel to it but it's kind of harsh so we're gonna bring the opacity down just a little bit so maybe maybe about 40 percent yeah and uh, there you go uh, you got the nice uh, warm we warmed it up a lot we washed out the blacks uh, brought this nice um, overlay around the edges to give it a nice burnt out look and if you look back at our original you know it's very cool colored um, very you know deep blacks bright whites and then you look back at what we did and there you go and so that's how you make a vintage style a uh, retro look to your photos so go ahead and you all, you obviously want to make you know play around with um, some of these some of these layers you can change the color burn or uh, I like to try a hard mix sometimes you give it that nice really wash uh, really harsh light into it um, like I said you can try whatever you know whatever one fits you that one's a pretty good one too um, go back to color burn and so you know just mess around a little bit also it also depends on your on your photos so go ahead and mess around and um, leave me a comment uh, like this video uh, if you want to you know here's uh, some more tutorials go ahead and let me know and um, thanks for watching